morning everyone it is um Wednesday here and you can probably guess by the fact that I'm still in my jammies and it's 10 40 in the morning that I'm not having a great day I've started to feel a little bit better but it's been pretty rough and I've been up since about quarter to five so I just watched some cycling then I've been watching some YouTube and then I actually went on periscopes, not me personally went on periscope. I watched some periscope this morning. Um, I don't really get it. I've watched a couple now, and actually the one I joined today, um, was actually a vegan girl I follow on Twitter, and I think that's yeah, because Periscope's owned by Twitter, so I was then following her as Periscope, and that was really good. I was um that was good because she was you could ask questions and she'd give you some information about ve being vegan and things like that. So that was I could sort of see excuse me, the value in that, but I don't really get it. Though I got to chat with um, not chat. Got to well, kind of. It's kind of a chat, I guess, because you can talk and get an answer straight away. So I was, um, Kimmy, um, from she's in her apron was on with her husband last night. So I was watching them. It's kind of weird. It's very voyeuristic, I find. So I don't know. I'm really comfortable with it. <laughs> but it felt really odd to be like talking to her live, like I just saying hello because like, obviously she knew who I was I don't think she watches these but um it was um funny because I've been on sort of online um friends I guess or acquaintances whatever for a while so it was weird um actually chatting real time and then I was watching um Marissa she did one but it was I didn't watch it live I watched it later on and she was just doing a car chat um in the car but I don't know I don't I don't really I can see like for a Q and A, they'd be really good. I think that way that would be good. But I think you can do that on YouTube anyway. Um, so I don't know if anyone gets Periscope, like gets what it, quite what it's supposed to be doing. Let me know because I can't quite work it out. Um, but I am on there, so if you're on there, so I haven't done any myself. I don't know that I feel comfortable enough to do that. Like when I chat with you guys. That's fine, because I know who you all are. Well, I don't I don't really know who you all are. But I feel like I do. <laughs> I feel like you're my friends. But I think on Periscope, it would be more strangers. And you'd be lucky if you saw a familiar name in there, I would think. Uh, especially the time differences for us here in Australia. Um, I don't know. Maybe on holidays it might be good or something. Like, I can see when I got on the cruise ship, I could do it. And then I'd be up there straight away. Um... It's kind of like Snapchat, I guess, but I never got that either. Um, I'm just too old-fashioned. <laughs> too old to get these new things. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on there. So, I haven't done anything, though. I don't know that I would, because I... Um, the people that I had watched were very, very good and just like just general chatting and could talk about things of interest, whereas I think I'd probably end up rambling like I'm probably doing now. Anyway, maybe if I can think of something to actually talk about or share a bit of, I don't know, I haven't watched enough to really know what people do on there. Um, so, as part of that, I'm just sitting here on Twitter now. Uh, I've been trying to use Twitter more, so I've been sort of doing a bit of a, a, bit of a clean up of people um, I'm following. It's, it's quite funny actually, because I really haven't used Twitter in years. Um, I don't think I ever really got into Twitter much either. Um, but it's been years since I've used it really regularly so all the people that I follow on Twitter are people that I haven't like I've sort of gone off following so it's quite funny watching or seeing who I was interested in back then and there's some that I still follow but there's a lot of go geez I haven't watched a YouTube video for them in years or I haven't read their blog in years so it's actually um quite interesting <laughs> it gives a bit of a a bit of a time capsule of what I was interested in going back probably you know three to five years ago Things have changed. Oh, my head is getting worse as I talk to you guys. So, all I have to do is take a thing to her appointment this afternoon um, for a psychologist and then wait, obviously, and then come back home. But at least she'll probably drive. So, um, <laughs> I don't have to actually drive, just watch traffic and keep an eye on things. Um, and then I think she's got a friend coming over tonight for dinner, I think. I've got, I've got dinner, it's like little light dinners organised. Not like easy dinners organised. Anyway, so I thought I was feeling better, but obviously once I start talking, that's just become too much to do. So I will um, check back in with you a bit later on. Not doing a very good job of vlogging today. I'm feeling slightly better, but I'm um, just having a rice bowl for lunch with refried beans 
Mexican beans and watching YouTube of all, as always. I don't know who I'm watching. I don't know what she's on before. No, I just saw the kitchen speed cleaning, so that's what I'm watching. My lunchtime friend's in his position. He's my cycling buddy and my lunch friend. Yet again, come late afternoon and I'm feeling an awful lot better. Why? It's not fair. Good morning. It is Thursday. My gosh. Uh, Christy, I can't remember if I vlogged last night. Christy's really cook. Um, she looked so miserable last night. She went to school yesterday with just a sore throat, but she's come home with a lot more than a sore throat, I think. And you might be able to kind of guess, I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. I'm a bit congested and I told my usual aches and pains, I'm not feeling very good either. I don't think I deserve a cold on top of everything else. Anyway, so I highly doubt we'll be going to the event at the school this morning, but um, I just got to go do Kevin's lunch for him. Because I haven't been a very good wife and haven't been... I've got his lunch a few days, but not every day. And I haven't had any homemade snacks for him to take to work, so... Oh well... I wanted to make soup yesterday, maybe I'll get it done today and I can have some soup for lunch tomorrow. Uh, but I'm not feeling good today. Well, I am feeling a fraction better. Not brilliant. I'll go up and have my shower soon. I think after that I'm going to try and make some soup because hopefully I'll be feeling better. I was going to do mashed potatoes for dinner and I just don't know if it's a bit too early to do them. I guess... I don't know if they'll be as nice reheated. My hair. <laughs> As I was a bit short for a ponytail, sort of. I don't know what I've done today. I just was a bit hot. Oh, I'll show you later on. I washed all the dogs' toys. <laughs> I was hanging them out a bit earlier. Yes, um, so I've been watching YouTube. We had a good old catch up this morning. And actually, um, Natalia, just um, from Glittering the Sky, just did a video. I'm not sure when she did it. Oh, look, I've been picking my nail polish off. I'm so sad here. Um, she did a video and just went through the videos she'd watched recently and talked to all the different channels. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So I might do that later on today. I might sit down and just, since I've been doing a lot of watching today, and just, um, I thought it was quite a good way just to show, because they're not then showing favourites and then making other people feel they've got missed out, so showing you what you've watched, you know, the last 24 hours or something like that. So I thought, I might do that. Um, just give you a little bit of a inside of what I'm watching so I think I might try and film that yeah I'll try and film that later on um I don't think I've got anything else to report I don't even know I picked up the camera now I'm sure I was going to tell you something hmm what was I going to tell you I'm just making some french toast Christy made some for breakfast earlier for herself and there was some mixture made up so I'll make up some water pop in the free in the fridge well I had my shower feeling a little bit better again but I just decided to redress myself in my pajamas. It's got my puppy on it. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to do much. I think I'll be taking it easy today. I'm going to get this potato, cheese potato chowder made, and then um, I don't know. I've got a few ideas, but it's all like paperwork, sitting down. I'm either going to look at my photo book, but I think the deadline for it is tonight. I don't think I can get it done by then, but I might have a go. See. <laughs> put a good afternoon in maybe um, but I'm still trying to catch up on YouTube I just feel like I got really behind like with the weekend missing the weekend and stuff so I'd really like to try and catch up a bit more and I can't I can't multitask I wish I could multitask because if I could like watch YouTube and do the photo book well that'd be perfect but I just am incapable I've tried many times and I just can't focus on more than one thing at a time so I could do that blog posts I need to do um and some edit some videos and I could also work on my on my paper menu recipes and stuff that are sort of scattered all over the place but that's quite a big job so maybe that could be tomorrow's job and I also want to sit and write a list like I'm really stuck with the conmary I've come to a stop <laughs> a big stall partly health rise but partly I just don't know where to go next like when you get to the kimono part the sections are gone like it's this very vague sections and I just don't know how to break it up myself I have seen some around. I'd rather try and follow other ones people put together or just 
as I've already done some of the kitchen drawers, just to focus on an item and do that item. But that's not really the primary way. So I'm a bit of a quandary of what to do. So I might maybe try and see if I could work out how to break things up. But like, I'm not gonna gather plates from here and plates from the dining room. So I know there's some things that I know I'm not gonna do um, quite that way anyway. Mm. I don't know if anyone's got any advice or, um, cause I doubt I'll have gone beyond this before this video <laughs> goes up. So if you've got any advice on how to progress, once, or well, the last one I did, um, my beauty stuff. So once you get to the kimono, if anyone's got any advice on how to pr proceed, please let me know. In the meantime, I'm going to make this cheesy potato chowder. Well, I know that took less than 10 minutes, or less than nine minutes actually, cause I just watched a vlog the whole time I was chopping up vegetables. So I will link the recipe below. It's what I've been making for a number of years. And I've decided to double the recipe this time because we always go through it so fast. So with the weekend coming up, I thought it's good to have extra. So uh, I've got to wait for it to boil and then I add some milk and then I think it cooks a bit longer after that. Okay, the cheesy potato chowder is all finished. So nice and thick. It's yummy. Um, so I've done that. I got all the photos finished by photo book but I'm not sure my our using BT sync for sharing between devices I'm not sure if that's working so hopefully it is if not well can't do much more but I've got all the photos sorted for the year so that's good and I'll try and continue on and get this year's photos sorted as well into months to make it a little bit easier next year but it's not been that hard a project um, doing the photos but the main problem was when the iPhoto, no, yeah, iPhoto got an update or photos got an update or something, and I'd lost all the ones I'd already, I'd already like starred them all or whatever I did before, favorited them. I had to be going and do that again. So that obviously cost me a little bit of time. Um, yeah, the photos are done. I think I'll try and get that finished off this afternoon. That would be good. To cross that off my list. Here's my other sick child. No one's feeling good. I'm actually probably best of, the best of a lot of them at the moment. Anyway. That's uh, saying a lot. Mm. It's probably me being sick for ages. Yeah, I don't feel so bad now. I often feel better in the afternoon. Poor little moo. So everyone's happy I've got soup for, made soup for lunch. Well, the soup was so yummy for lunch. It's um, 2.30 now in the afternoon. It's nice not having to go out to do the school run, I must say. Um, so I just picked up the rest of the soup. So that's for us at home. I've done some for my granny and some for Kevin for lunch tomorrow so that should be good and hopefully I'll get it around to rain tomorrow. Well, the sun's all gone now it looks like it could rain any minute so I'm gonna bring in all the doggy toys. <laughs> that looks funny them on the clothesline. Rosie's already taken one she took off with one that I had it in the basket before. Oh they look so nice and clean now. <laughs> And I'll slob it on. Well, she was there watching me a second ago. <laughs> She's gone off. Hey, Bailey. I wonder which one she's going to want first. She's back. Oh, I'm going to have toys. Where have I got Rosie? What are your toys? Well, they're Bailey's toys too. Which one are you going to pick? That's the winner. That's so cute, Rosie. Which toy? Do I always Rosie's toys? You see, he's not quite so. You like the pom pom? Oh, you like the pom pom? There's like three toys left. I didn't wash the pom pom with one of them. I think Rosie would like a toy basket this size. Oh, there you're gonna go put the basket. <laughs> that would have been cool. I think you'd like a basket that size. <laughs> And you could spread all the toys out and see which ones she wants. Oh, Bailey wants it now too. <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. You got a toy? Well, I'll leave the basket there and see what she does with them all. I was just going to, what on earth are they? They are huge birds. 
thought they were black cockatoos, but they... I don't think they can be. They are, I think. No, what are they? They got too big and they got white. I do not know what those birds are. Well, they're just in the tree out here as well. They're massive. Wow, they are huge. I've never seen them, wow. Well, I'm glad I got up to go and chat to you guys. I only got up to get the camera then. They're definitely not black cockatoos. Wow. I wonder what they are. I've come outside now. Now they sound a bit like Wow, I've heard the noise before. They're huge. They've made a kind of a cockatoo kind of sound and they actually look a bit like a cockatoo but but no cockatoo I know. a bit of excitement for a Thursday evening, afternoon. And now I've got to tell me what I was going to tell you. I've got up for a reason. Oh, I think I'm going to give up on that photo book. I've done half of it. I've checked half of it. So six months. The second six months, all the photos are there, but I haven't done the layouts, let alone checking them. And my eyes are going funny from looking at the small screen, which is a problem I have with the photo books. I'm thinking I might try the next photo book on my bigger computer my desktop behind me um, and seeing <clears throat> because obviously everything will be that much bigger so and there'll be no no hurry oh, turn the lights out no I won't open the door for Rosie she's standing at the door because when I was out there before she wanted to go and see what I was looking at crazies so I'm just doing a really easy dinner oh that was the other thing I was going to say but Rosie's emptied out nearly all the toys <laughs> She's madly running around out there. I don't know if she's going to get those birds in the trees. <laughs> oh, fascinating. I, I, I hope someone knows what they are. And they just blend right in. But I stood up and I saw them straight away out the other out in the few houses away. Um, okay, so photo books are going to finish. Um, I might try and do a blog post or two now. That might be good. <clears throat> I had been, I'd left, actually left the um, pan out thinking I might have done some pikelets, but I might leave it there and move it tomorrow. If I leave it out, I'm all likely to do it, but I don't feel like doing it now. Um, dinner, yeah, sorry guys. I'm just... <laughs> Did it go, Rosie? She's seen them now. that booby go? It's flying on past. Oh, they're beautiful. I don't know if I caught that or not in the camera. Oh. Okay, and they're all in the move, it looks like. That sounds like a shopping trolley. <coughs> you tell them, puppies. You tell them. We are a long way from the shop because it's a shopping trolley. <coughs> hey! Don't be silly. Okay, so tonight's dinner was the other thing I was going to say. I'm just going to do some soy sausages. I bought some little pom pom wisettes. I think they are. Not the healthiest. I was going to do mashed potatoes, but then we all had potato chowder for, um, for lunch. So I kind of feel like mashed potatoes is kind of the same. So I'll do, And I don't feel up to doing it. Because I was feeling a lot better, and then I started not feel so good and my throat's getting sore again. Um, you might notice I actually painted my nails sometime this afternoon. I think it was at lunchtime. That was one of the nice witchery colours that Ada bought me. So, thanks Ada. I'm still wearing the polishes. Love them. Um, 
and I'll just produce some corn or something. Although I think I might do some Brussels sprouts and onion and um, just like stir, lightly stir fry them in some barbecue sauce for Kevin and I just to have a bit of greenery again. Can see I didn't have, besides the soup, I didn't really have like a big bowl of vegetables like I normally would have at lunch. So I think that'll do, but I'm not gonna get organized. Well, most of it's going in the oven. May I chop up the vegetables, the Brussels sprouts and onion, and that way, oh, and some mushrooms. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll do that now <laughs> before I fall over and before I go and sit back down. Okay, my vegetables are chopped, ready to saute. Uh, just got a pan out ready. So that's ready to go. Mm, maybe go on. And then I've just got corn will go in the microwave and the other stuff will go in the other. Okay, dinner. Linda McCartney's soy sausages. These are really good. The fake sausages, they're delicious. And these, instead of mashed potatoes. Because I'm lazy. I'm not feeling good. So, the doggies have had their dinner. I'm not sure why the dishwasher is still down. I must have been half packing it, I think. You've had your dinner. Dave's already done yours. And this is all YouTube's fault. I've seen about three videos in the last few days with people talking about toddler and chocolates. So it just had to happen. So <laughs> it'll be shared out. I won't be eating all by myself. <laughs> if um, I'd ask him to buy, but if I could have got a small one for myself, that would have been better. But we'll share it and I might put one away for later on anyway. But I haven't had toddler in years. Honestly, years. But everyone kept talking about it. I thought, oh, we want toddler now. And one of those things, I won't stop thinking about it until I have it, so we'll just go with it and have some. Yum. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning. End of the week. Oh, my lovely half-closed eye. So you can guess I'm not feeling great. Where's some upset stomach, I think? I don't know. Pretty yucky all over. Not been a good week. <laughs> I have moments where I feel okay, and then it's back to my stomach really swollen again I don't know if you guys remember me complaining about that before well, there's my breakfast I'm having a quesadilla with cheese pineapple and corn so that'll be yummy I'm watching more YouTube I do need to try and get to the shops sometime today get a few bits and pieces that we're sort of out of um, Kevin was good and got me some milk last night and I, if I'd realised he was going to the supermarket I would have got him to get the rest of the stuff that I need but I didn't know where he was going and I wasn't thinking enough to be organised enough to get him to get me more stuff so I'll try and duck out today. <laughs> God, stomach. He's done that his favourite toy again. Oh no, he's going to lose it. Get it, Mazzy. Get the pom-poms. Alright, you've got another toy. <laughs> it's so funny. It's the best toy in the world. No, it's free. I came from the slipper packet. Yeah. It gets caught in his claws. It's funny. I don't know why pom poms are so fun. Oh, he shoved the other side of the couch. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> what happened to Fuzzy? <laughs> what happened to Fuzzy? Oh my gosh, you're crazy. That was it. <laughs> what are you doing? You crazy dog. He doesn't care. What he's doing? He keeps shoving his beak down the side of the couch. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. He's a crazy weed. Oh, he lost it. No, the not yet. Oh, didn't he? He still has it. Oh, I was going to pour over it. You just saved it. No, no, you are Oh, can you get it for him? <laughs> So, you know, I just headed out for a little bit. We just, um, it's so warm. A beautiful day. We're just down at my granny's uh, retirement village just to drop her in some of the soup that we made. And what have I got? Jaffa cakes. Yes. 
Chrissy mentioned on a vlog the other day that she hasn't had any years and that's where I get my love of orange chocolate from it's from my granny so I'll bring her some of them too the beautiful these are roses aren't they yeah roses in the garden so pretty oh I don't know if you can see a scooter, it's like a motorcycle. So I'm just going to show you. Oh, there you go. Shows. You can kind of see how it's a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, he went around the speed bump. I wonder where he's going. I've never seen him before. Like, obviously, he goes out on the road. On the footpath, anyway. <laughs> footpath. <laughs> that is cool. If I ever have to scoot, have a scooter, I would like one like that. Sorry, I'm back from the shop. A bit puffed though, because I just went to pick up dog poos. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so, I put the groceries away. I'm just going to sit and have... I'm so thirsty. I haven't drunk much today, I think, because I ran out of my juice. I had, a, had some water, but I was just like sipping at the water. and That's the problem. I haven't drunk a lot of plain water lately. It's been mainly the watered down juice. And now I feel... Plain water seemed really boring, so I didn't drink much of it, and now I'm really very thirsty. So um, I've already polished off that much of of that juice. Oh, that's better. So I had a lovely surprise in the mail today. Well, I knew it was coming, but it turned out today I had a lovely present from Deb, uh, Debbie in New Zealand. So it was a belated or a birthday present, but a bit of a belated birthday present. And honestly, it couldn't have really come on a better day. Like, would have had such a bad week. It was really nice to come today. So very much appreciate Debbie. Just so I'll show the rest of you what she sent for me. So a beautiful card and some cute bed socks and actually I think Debbie sent me some bed socks last year and they have pretty much had it so this is great to have these to replace them oh and they're good because they've got the little grippy things that's really good and the cute little pussycats so cute so love them and actually I think yeah, they're the ones I think Debbie sent me before look so they'll probably had it thin in the heel so that'll be good and then she sent me some oh Peach and pineapple tea, a variety of some teas. How did she phrase it? She phrased it very nicely on, when did she phrase that? Oh, on the card, I knew it was on the envelope. Yeah, she said, happy birthday, there'll be a little something for a special someone to help you have a relaxing you time, me time, whatever. Um, so yeah, and some hot chocolates. And I didn't even know you get honey. I didn't know. Are Harney and Sons actually a New Zealand company? Or do they just sell them there? Because I like the Harney and Sons teas that I've tried. So that'll be nice. And some chai. Oh, peach and pineapple sounds good. And then some little motivational cards from Lorna Jane. Oh, that'll be nice. I can use them either in my diary. Or, um. Oh, a coconut akai smoothie. I've got that akai stuff in the freezer. I haven't done anything with it yet. So yeah, so that's good. And then probably the highlight, I guess, would be this lovely colouring in book. Athena has already wanted to pinch it from me, I tell you. So beautiful colouring in book. So that's really appreciated. I would mean to try. Oh look how cute. And I like I think, yeah, there you go, teacups and bowls. So and then she sent me some little pencils for that too. So that's really, really appreciated. Um that'd be good. And I might even try and sit and do a bit this afternoon. Cause I can actually probably do that and do YouTube. That's probably one thing I could multitask with. <laughs> and I've read a few few people have recommended, a few of you guys have recommended colouring as being a good therapy and something good to do. And that was actually one thing I was going to list on my list of things to do on really bad fibro days. So, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Thank you so much, Debbie. Really appreciate it. And as I said, it was, uh, it was lovely to turn up today after the bad week that I've had. So that is super fun so i'm looking forward to trying the teas i'm actually going to put these socks on right now and um <laughs> might try and get some culling later on this afternoon so yeah that was a lovely surprise so i'm going back on my youtube i think up to yesterday so i'm getting on top of it so <sighs> that is good oh so besides my groceries, the only other thing I picked up today, I bought some of this more of this Sukin facial scrub. I really wanted to get the um, Jojoba one. The Jojoba one was $32. This was $9. So I was a good little Vegemite and went with the $9 one. 
it's like it's probably like 80 percent or probably eight out of ten compared to 10 out of 10 like they're both pretty good i prefer the other one but for the price this is better probably better better value for money so anyway so i just finished off one today so good timing to get a new one oh itchy nose oh i was just laying out the gifts just to take a photo and i don't know if deb actually hand i'm guessing she probably did hand pick this card this is what i need to learn isn't it i can do anything but not everything <laughs> so appropriate for someone with fibromyalgia i'm watching some youtube got Bailey and I've got a very happy Christy. She'll look happy at the minute and she keeps smiling. Hey, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I was just saying how you were laughing and then you didn't laugh for ages. <laughs> you were smiling and laughing watching the saddle club. Oh, Bailey. He was having a snooze. I'm watching YouTube and yeah, what are you looking at Rosie? She's looking on high alert. See, Saddle Club. This is the first time she's ever watched it. We always, we've been trying to tell her for a long time that she would like this show because it's got horses in it. I think Fuzzy's snoring now. <sighs> nice no, time of day. It's also bright in here now, it's good. Tonight's game is our True Pursuit Family Edition. It's a good game actually. I guess we can all play it. Well, I'm just heading up to bed on Friday night, so I thought I would say good night and I hope you enjoyed this week. It was very, very unexciting for you guys. I can't even remember what I shared throughout the week now. I guess I'll see when I edit the video. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it, even if it's just a bit of enjoyment and catching up with me. But thank you very, so much for sharing the week with me. And haven't got any plans for the weekend, but I'll do a little weekend vlog for you and we'll see what happens. Like always, at the end of the day, I feel okay. I wake up in the morning and feel horrible. It's not fair. I'm going to have to really, I don't know, look at redoing my day, I guess. and trying to motivate myself to do things in the afternoon but it's just not the way i've always worked forever so it's very hard to change but school holidays now so i might try and get a bit of a school holiday routine going and i guess not having to go and do school pickups in the afternoon will help with that if it's you know two o'clock or three o'clock i can actually start something then so i still made my list of decluttering i will do that <laughs> very monday i'll start and um get some things done but I said the kids have got fairly active at least the first week a lot of things on so there might be a little bit of running around i don't know we will see but anyway i will um i'll see you guys over the weekend anyway <laughs> and hopefully i'll feel good and i'll go at least for lunch tomorrow probably perhaps not on sunday but the thing is going to be out on sunday yeah so hopefully I might be able to go and do something tomorrow or even sunday as well Alrighty, i will <laughs> see ya good night bye